So I'm going to prepare a pavlova. Pavlova is a wonderful dessert that everybody loves. It's made out of meringues and um, vanilla ice cream and red berry sorbet and, um, and a mascarpone and uh, heavy cream mousse. So it's really very good and very easy to prepare. So in order to prepare my um, blueberry sauce, and by the way, if you have any social distance these days, if you have any red berries, um, whatever berries you have are welcome into this red sauce, which is um, the sauce that I will pour on the pavlova. So on a, on a frying pan, I'm going to put these are like three handfuls of blueberries. Um, I'm just preparing more sauce because what I like to do is to freeze it and use it like two or three times. One tablespoon for each handful. So it's one, two, three. I always like some little bit of salt just to give it that um, teasy taste. So I will mix this and let it cook for around 30 minutes, 40 minutes until I get it really into a nice sauce, blueberry sauce. It's called coulis in French. Um, I don't know if, if sauce is the right word, but it's like, it's not sauce, it's syrup. See, I knew there was a word. So blueberry syrup, not sauce. So my blueberry syrup is boiling. I will lower the fire and let it cook for another 10 minutes. Meanwhile, it's cooking. I'm going to prepare the rest of the pavlova. Follow me. Okay, so now for the pavlova itself. Since the coulis, the blueberries, is preparing itself. Let's put everything in our mixer. The heavy cream. It's a good workout to squeeze it. Not into your sleeve, of course, but into the mixer. I need a towel. Okay, that was a little accident. This is a couture accident. Let me put my sleeves up. I think it's better as a cook. Okay, so my heavy cream is in the mixer. Now, the mascarpone cheese is next. So I added my mascarpone into the heavy cream. Two very full tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna show you how much, I think it's like, um, it's half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All that goes into the whip. You start slowly, you start on one, and little by little, you, you elevate the, the speed. I love Pavlova. I hope you guys will love this as well. We're gonna let it work itself. The slower, the better. There'll be more air in your uh, mousse, in your wheat basket pony cream. Um, the cream will be lighter and much better when you start slowly and you go up. Like everything in life. You know, uh, few are the people that I know 
that started from high and was so easy. I started from nothing, zero. From really zero, to one, to two, to three, and the sky's the limit. Okay? Look at this beautiful cream. The cream is almost ready. When do you know that the cream is ready? When you lift the mixer and it's, you know, it creates that, um, how would I say? It's like a stiff cream. That's when you know. I think I need just one more second. There you go. So the cream is ready. Look at this. When it does like this, when it's, I can move it and it, it's stiff. We have a tradition in this house. Um, Miss Patchouli needs to taste the Master Pony Cream. It's good, baby. Mama will taste it as well. Into the sink. So, for the Pavlova, we're putting everything together now. Um, these are little meringues that you can buy ready. Why does it always happen to me? There you go. You can buy them ready or you can prepare meringues and um, I will give a lecture for that as well for how to prepare meringues. I'll give you a recipe. So here I have two kinds. I have the bigger kind that I bought um, from a um, bakery and the little ones that I'm sure you can find at the supermarket. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the meringues into my bowl. So this is the bed of my mascarpone cream. I'm going to use half of it on the bottom. Now it's time for the ice cream. I have here whatever I could find in times like this. Um, this is red berry and vanilla ice cream. So what I usually do is I have a red berry sorbet and a vanilla ice cream, but here just came as one. I guess we are in an era of one. Don't you think so, guys? I mean, we're all really one now with this uh, corona pandemic not knowing the difference between what race, what religion, what gender we are, what age. You know, we are one. My ice cream is in, half of my mascarpone cream is in, the other half comes on top of all this. I like to buy a red velvet cake in New York um, at Empire's uh, Empire cakes and I love when Ali and Christina sleep over I always prepare a mascarpone cream and some some blueberry ice cream and vanilla ice cream and put it on top of the um, red velvet cake and we have we have us a little blast okay so mm, I love the cream now some washed blueberries, a handful, one handful of blueberries, five strawberries cut in halves, and we're going to end this yummy um, dessert with our blueberry coulis, the coulis de blueberry, and uh, which we call the, the blueberry syrup on top of all this. So remember, this is half of the syrup that we prepared because I prepared four handfuls of blueberries and this should be, I think, maybe just half of it, two handfuls of blueberries. Okay, so now let's see 
how good this is. And this time, I'm the taster. I have a weakness for sweetness and this is one of my sweetest sweetnesses. Pavlova à la Pnina Tornelli. See you soon.